Hello YouTube, I just thought I'd make a little short video of drilling tip. It is going to be cut out, but I'm limiting how much I'm going to be using the cutting torch. So I want to make some holes in here, so I don't have to cut so much. I'm afraid of warping this plate. But what I did was, I freehanded without this clamp down. I came down to my center point and just drilled just a small amount so my bit would be ready. Okay, and this is Marble Mister Oil. I use it for cutting on steel and aluminum and brass. I don't really use a lot of oil on brass. I might use some kind of spray. But Okay, we're not drilling with a pilot bit. Just a half inch bit. It is one of those cheap whatever titanium coated bits. But we'll show you how easy it goes through. Get my goggles on. Safety first. And here we go. We won't drill the whole hole through, but that's not a lot of pressure. This is only just on the lowest setting of the drill press, 250 RPM. I have all day to drill a hole. I don't know what kind of steel this is, it's kind of flaky. But you see how easy that is to drill. You don't need a pilot bit. Okay, I think I showed over that. My cover's rattling on my drill press. Hear that? No more rattle. Just put up with it. Okay, I think we covered that good enough. So I'm going to have eight holes, so I limit what I kept with the cutting torch. I may have to grind a little bit bigger. This plate is going to be where my front wheel bearing is going to mount through. So. That's what this plate's going to be for. I drilled one hole. There's three bolts on the ears. One hole up here. So I get kind of centered and measured. Then we'll get it this way. Uh, this just marked out with a marker. I made a template. Don't know where it is. Our cardboard. Okay, where you put your cardboard down and hammer it out with a hammer. Make the holes. Maybe I should make a video on that. But Okay, been long enough. Just thought I'd show you. You don't need to use pilot bit all the time. Depends on what kind of bit. Depends on what kind of speed you have. So, thanks for watching. Okay, we thought we'd show this little grinding tip. We've got this bit in here. That's what the piece looked like. So I limited how much I was using the cutting torch. Okay, this is what I do when I want to cut out a hole and smooth it up. I always save my little stones. And I'll get in here just like, be careful you don't catch. I mean, do this at your own risk. I get in here like this. I round the hole out. Of course, I had to take the slag off the bottom. But I've got a good fit. From what I guess, this hole is off about a sixteenth of an inch. I'll have to wall it out. I'll just probably drill it with a 5 8 bit. Uh, just to get my half inch bolt to clear. Then I will mark these two uh, by centering this on the plate, whichever way it has to go. So, there you go. Thought I'd add that in there. Get right down in there. Always save your little stone. This is one of the soft ones. It doesn't have that, uh, what I call that cross weave stuff that goes in it, which works really good. It comes with the cheap grinders. You can kind of tell by that colored label. And then always, I always bevel the hole out here, so this has a good start. There we go. I made this video long enough. Thanks for watching.